Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay. So, um, what am I going to talk about this time? <laughs> that, that's a million dollar question. It's always a million dollar question. <laughs> Um, okay, well, there's been like a few things on my mind recently, some of it I'm probably going to talk more about over the coming weeks, others of it, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how the rest of this year goes, um, there's definitely been a lot on my mind in the background that has not necessarily been writing related, so let's sort of start talking about various bits and pieces that are not writing related then it's just literally because that's what happens to be in my mind at that point in time um there is definitely one video that i know i i do want to do over the next couple of weeks <laughs> but provided i do something else first <laughs> there there is one other thing I, I need to do first really before i want to sort of film that one um so yeah um there may be a few more non writing related videos <laughs> vlogs <laughs> happening over the next few weeks um but i guess this one will sort of be kind of a little bit of both um so i am planning at some point to get my hair cut um i am planning to go for a long styled pixie cut um there's there, there are several reasons for for this um one of them being um for those of you who know that I have chronic pain, <laughs> um, and those are like this is this is one of the things when I so the older videos back on my channel I have my hair like down to here, so this is not the first time that I cut my hair for health related reasons, <laughs> even if there are other reasons involved as well, which this time there are definitely other reasons involved as well. And the last time there kind of were as well because I was. In that process of getting over my breakup and just wanting to sort of you know make a change and um you know as soon as my hair got cut short i was like my hair feels like it should have always been short why was my hair long to begin with <laughs> um the primary reason i cut my hair back then was um because i get a lot of issues with my grip and with my hands um maintaining long hair was just becoming a hassle um like you know washing it and, and brushing it I was quite often losing grip on the brush um, because my hair would tangle really easily um, I was also at the point where it was getting quite painful uh, it was getting quite painful back then as well to have my hair up all the time which meant my hair was down a lot which meant it's like cut like in order to stop it getting all tangled because brushing it was a nightmare um, I was sort of like you know shoving it under my clothes to try and sort of stop it from like blowing around in the wind because you know i live in a particularly windy area of the country um so yeah getting it cut short so that i could have it down without worrying as much about it i mean it still gets a little bit tangled at this length um certainly when it's damp and like if, if it gets blown around too much when it's damp it tends to get a bit tangled but yeah the the primary reasons for cutting my hair back then were to refresh myself <laughs> a little bit and you know to to help um with with maintenance side of things because i need to consider like part of the reason that i need to keep on top of my weight is to make sure that I, you know i'm not putting too much stress on my joints so it, it was one of those lifestyle changes that i thought i needed to make back then in order to make my life easier in order to reduce the amount of pain that i was in and it has worked fairly well um but i still get a little bit of of pain from my scalp um because i have to because length my hair is at the moment i have to put it up for work um it go, goes up into two little bunches and i can just about get into a ponytail but mostly i put it into two little bunches because because why not <laughs> um and it's getting to a point where i like it doesn't hurt all the time but when it does hurt it is a it's a very annoying pain um and whilst i had all that lovely time off whilst I was furloughed and doing the writing um I was putting my hair up to do my exercising because it was hot <laughs> because it was very hot um 
and I was noticing that because I was wasn't always taking my hair down afterwards because obviously it was very warm and I you know I didn't want it on my neck. I was noticing that I was getting that pain quite badly, quite a lot. So I then was like, oh, okay, I I know now that is like putting my hair up is actually what is causing it. So yeah, part of the reason that I am going for a haircut that is too short to have to put up. So I don't have to put my hair up, or rather, so I can't put my hair up. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm going for a style that I, you know, I, I won't be able to put my hair up is to help with that because it, it's not it's not a pleasant pain. It's like it literally feels like somebody is taking a spike and stabbing it into the centre of your head, and not like all in one go, but like for a while and then taking it away and then coming back with it um it's it's very it's very annoying and very horrible pain so i want to go to a style that is uh for that reason <laughs> that, that was kind of what first started me thinking about it is i want to go to a style where i don't where i'm not able to put my hair up so that i can just you know shove it under a hairnet if, if it's still slightly too long um but I don't have to put it up because it won't be put up at all. Um, and I can it all just fit under my hat. And, and that's what I want. That's what I want to go for. Um, so that that's one of my motivations again. This time it is like totally health related, but it's not my only motivation. And that's part of the reason why I'm going for the pixie style haircut. <laughs> so I've, I've been debating. I mean, I don't want to go for a short pixie. I want to go for a long pixie. Because I, I I have a thing for that sort of like mid length kind of uh, short hair anyway. Um, I don't think I would look good with really really short hair. I think I need that sort of that sort of in between. And I was debating between a shorter version of the style that, of the asymmetrical style that I go for now. But I don't feel like that would be. I think like at the length that I've been having it, it's it's very me because it's it my hair naturally flicks out a little bit so it's slightly more playful um but i think that's that sort of slightly shorter look that's not the image that i want to go for it's i'm not saying it's necessarily an older image <laughs> but it's not as playful as i as what i you know as how i try to present myself most of the time I know I don't do a very good job with that with my wardrobe, which is something else that I'm working on. <laughs> I, I literally, as I said, that this is one of the things where I expect more videos about this over the, the next coming coming weeks. Um, maybe <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but I over lockdown, I wrote four stories that very very much focused on the identities and the journey of the you know the journey of discovering yourself or discovering more about yourself or becoming comfortable with yourself um of four characters um which made me kind of realize that hey 90 percent of my wardrobe is still the stuff that my mum gave me after i lost all the weight because clothes shopping terrifies me, <laughs> not least because, you know, it, it, you know I, t to begin with, I kind of justified it with it's really expensive to have to replace your entire wardrobe after losing that much weight, which is why I was so grateful to my mum. I mean, all the clothes that my mum has given me were perfectly, I mean, I've been wearing them. <laughs> you guys have been seeing me wearing them. <laughs> um, it's like there's been absolutely nothing wrong with them. Um, you know, it, it's not that, but they're not necessary things that I would have picked for myself they're just the clothes that I happen to own um it's one of the reasons why you've seen the theorist top so much <laughs> since I've gotten that <laughs> um because that is something I picked for myself I mean it's not necessarily the color that I would necessarily have picked but it was part of a bundle where I got a whole lot more of the socks <laughs> I really wanted more of the socks <laughs> um but yeah, it was part of a it was part of a, a of a bundle. So I was sort of like, oh, that seems that seems quite good. Um, I don't dislike the style of it, and it's you know it, it's it's something I like because it's something that expresses something that I like. Um, you know, and a part of my personality. I'm as you guys know from you know um, 
I have mentioned it in, in previous vlogs, I am a loyal theorist. Um, game theory, film theory, now food theory, I also watch GT Live. So even though it's not necessarily the kind of colour or the kind of style that I'd necessarily want to be wearing all the time, it's one of the few things I own that I'm now reflective of an interest that I have and reflective of my personality. Um, so it's one of the reasons why it did appear quite a lot <laughs> over the summer. <laughs> um, but, and again, one of, like, part of the reason, like, I was, I've been constantly in, like, the same three or four tops is that's pretty much all I own. Um, I don't own, I, I literally, on the move here, got rid of anything that wasn't wearable anymore for either, for, for whatever reason. So, like, my, my wardrobe of clothing just went, like, completely stripped down. I don't own that many clothes, and I've done a very, very poor job of buying more things to replace all the things that I've gotten rid of because clothes shopping is stressful. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally that person that will walk into a clothes shop and walk straight back out again. Like not even looking at anything because I just, I can't do it. And as I said, part of that is clothes can be pretty expensive when you're trying to replace your entire wardrobe with, you know, that that's not something that really should be done all in one go, although I'm now forcing myself to be a lot more decisive and try to replace the clothes that I've been wearing, but only because they've been there with things that actually feel like they're a little bit more me, but that also means me trying to figure out what is a little bit more me. Um, and that's the other reason why clothes shopping is so stressful because I will walk in and I'll go, none of this is me, and then I'll walk back out again, half the time without even actually taking a, a chance of actually looking at anything to actually work out what is me, because I don't know what I want to wear. <laughs> I really, really have no clue what should be in my wardrobe to begin with, because I don't know what my tastes actually are my entire life. My clothing has been made up of the things that other people have bought for me, but maybe a few items that have been like, oh, I, I kind of like the way that looks. I kind of like the, you know, that, I kind of like that style, but I'm not necessarily buying it because I think it's my style. It's I'm buying it because I like the way that looks and I, I want to see how I feel or how I look in it because it's it's a style that intrigues me. Don't necessarily wear those things a whole lot. Um, but they're there, they're in my wardrobe. They're, they're amongst the things that I've chosen for myself. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm at that kind of point where, as I said, I've written these four books that have been so strongly focused on these characters figuring out parts of their personality, becoming more themselves. And, you know, I've, I've always been sort of like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not less myself because I'm wearing these clothes I haven't necessarily picked. Um, my clothing doesn't need to reflect my personality. My personality can, you know, do the work for me, as it were. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I, you know, having having spent the time uh, writing those stories um, and kind of getting to the end of it and kind of being left with this feeling that I'm not necessarily being true to myself um, because I just kind of shrug and go, eh, it's in my wardrobe, I'll wear it. <laughs> it's there. I'll wear it. I don't have to pay for it. I'll wear it. Um, it's not necessarily how I want to keep going with how I present myself, with my image um, and with things like that. So I feel like I need to start figuring out what I'm supposed to look like, <laughs> which seems like a really bizarre thing to sort of say and, and to express, but it's very much how I've been feeling. Um, so part of that is, okay, I know I have a slightly playfulness, slightly playful side of, of my personality, slightly um, 
you know, so let's go for a slightly more playful hairstyle because, you know, if I'm going to get my hair cut shorter again, <laughs> um, then it should be into a style that I feel more represents my personality. Um, so I felt like, you know, when my hair does actually flick out properly, I feel like the flicked out style represents my personality at this length because it's slightly more playful. So if I'm going to go shorter than that, why go to something that I don't feel would look playful on me and instead go for something that I feel will look playful on me? So hence the slightly longer pixie style because to me that is a more playful look than a, a shorter pixie style would be. But that you know that's just my opinion on it. You know, if you've got a different opinion on it, that's that's <laughs> for me. <laughs> that, that's absolutely fine. Um likewise I have purchased myself some new clothing. I mean, this top is one of it. I know this top isn't necessarily playful looking from, from what you guys can see of it. But what it is, it's long, it's baggy. Um, because the one thing I do know that I do like when it or have always had more of an affinity for is baggier, freer moving, freer flowing kind of clothing. Um, not for like every single piece in my wardrobe and quite often I will couple it with the things that you know might be a bit more shaped or a bit less shaped or whatever um but it was one of the things that I I decided um and th this is like the first thing I actually bought was a pair of harem style trousers um and that was when I was kind of like all the, all the tops that I've had from my mum are really on the short side. They like they like come down to your waist. So when you've got something with like a slightly higher waistband, um, that's really noticeable. So I was like, I've never really liked the length of those tops anyway. <laughs> I've grown accustomed to wearing them, but I've always felt they were too short. I've always preferred longer tops. I always prefer tops which come down a little bit further. Um, I took ages to give up this yellow t-shirt which is really off-coloured by the end because of how much it's like grey yellow by the end because of how much I'd like worn it and it got unwashed. And it was like a size 18 which is like massively big on me. I was like I could wear it like a dress. That's how big it was on me. <laughs> but I was reluctant to give it up because it was one of the few things that I still owned that was longer. Um, I did eventually give it up for the move here because I had to move the side so I don't want to move the key that side and this cup. This top doesn't really look very good anymore. It's all stretched out and grey and not very yellow so it needs to go because else my mum will tell me off for holding on to it still. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's kind of, it, to me it was kind of evident that Actually, one of the things that I'm missing from my wardrobe are things that are of a particular length and a particular style. So I've found myself a few tops, which are hopefully going to be baggier and longer, um, and see how I feel about them. Some are slightly more, more colourful than this, some are not. You'll probably be seeing them over the next few weeks, no doubt. Um, I've also got myself a couple more harem style trousers because the trousers that I'm wearing at the moment, so the, these were one of the few things I have bought for myself over the years has been trousers because all the things I got from my mum were tops. My mum normally wears jeans. I don't like jeans. Don't like jeans for a very, very specific reason. I don't like jeans because they hurt my knees. <laughs> It's like, I, I do have like cords um, and I don't wear them very often either for the exact same reason. They're kind of like, I've, I've got a few trousers which are my smart trousers, which are the trousers I'll put on if I want to be smart because they're not comfortable for anything else, not for me. <laughs> and, um, you know, again, this is to do with, with the, the hypermobility and, and stuff like that. Um, my knees are a little bit on the swollen side, not like really badly noticeable. They are slightly swollen most of the time, um, and if you have like if there's too much pressure around them, they, they hurt. So I don't like tight fitting trousers. I don't like jeans. I don't like cords. Um, although cords can be alright. Um, I mean, I I used to mostly wear skirts when I was little. I think primarily because I found wearing trousers really stiff, and I couldn't understand why you would wear something that would restrict your movements. That's because my knees. 
because my knees hurt. <laughs> and I, I, it was so normal for me for my knees to hurt that I didn't realise that was what was the problem um, until I was much older. Um, but yeah, so most of the trousers that I do currently own um, are basically jogging blocks. <laughs> I, I'm like it, it, they're not particularly like they're they're very much on the they're not like too too casual but they are very much on the casual side and these like all of the ones that I own I bought right after I lost the weight and I've not I've not replaced them even though some of them have holes in them now because <laughs> I mostly because of the gerbils um like one of them I like. I think the pair that I've got on at the moment, which is the grey pair, has like a bleach stain on it. And it's like, I really need to replace these trousers <laughs> with something that is, you know, not just, oh, I can buy them, they're cheap, they fit, they'll do. Um, and and they, they, they've all come from Sainsbury's, actually. Um, a lot of my clothes purchases um, in terms of like trousers, which is like the main thing that I've bought, um, I have come from Sainsbury's specifically because then I don't have to go into a clothes shop and it's much less stressful. <laughs> Although half it, like, and, and, and again, I, I, I picked these trousers just because they seem comfortable, they seem like they were going to be loose fitting, they seem like they would fit and you know, that, that was like my primary goal back then was just trousers that fit. Because, as I said, I'd lost all that weight and I needed clothes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I uh, decided that if my criteria for trousers is comfortable, loose-fitting, but maybe slightly quirky and smarter, um, then hurrying trousers seem like a good option. So, yeah, I, I've got some of those on the way. <laughs> And some longer tops. Um, the the pair of harems that I've got currently, I think they're just plain black ones. So it's not like oh, let's just let's just test the waters with this. And that's the whole reason. Like my my initial thing was just purchasing one. Like let's let's test the waters with this. Let's see let's see what you know how it feels. What it what it kind of looks like. And they're definitely a smarter alternative to the trousers that I've got currently. So once once I sort of I, I think I need to hold on to like one pair of my current trousers so that I've got four that I can rotate and you know between washes. Um, I might even hold on. You know, I was about to say I might even hold on to two, but three of the pair, three of the pair of trousers that I currently rotate between need to be gone for various reasons, either because they've got holes or because they've got bleach stains. <laughs> Um, so I may, may need to order myself a fourth pair of trousers. <laughs> that is something I might need to do before the end of the day, as I might need to add a fourth pair of trousers onto this mix. But yeah, so I'm very much at this point in time kind of uh, experimenting with my wardrobe a little bit. So if I start wearing various different things that... Um, seem a bit odd or seem a little bit all over the place it is literally just me trying to work out what it is I want to be wearing um some of it is going to be fan stuff because the one thing I'm very certain of is that I like my fan merch um even if it's not necessarily a style that I'm particularly fond of um I still like my fan merch, it's still something that reflects my personality and I think for me that's kind of as important as the style. Um, so yeah, some of it is going to be fan merch, some of it is going to be, as I said, a little bit random, um, a little bit not quite what I've been wearing but not, not necessarily too dissimilar from what I've already been wearing, um, but just expect I expect a lot of change and a lot of experimentation in how I am looking. <laughs> um, although it's going to be a little while before I go get my hair cut because I need my fringe. Just just a little bit more length on my fringe um, because obviously I got frustrated with it a couple of weeks back 
and it was, it was two in my eyes. So I was like, oh, I need to get my fringe cut. And then right after, I was like, I should have waited. And then I could have got it, to, I got it cut properly. <laughs> I should have just phoned up the hairdressers, like when I was feeling that frustrated with my fringe and just got it done. But I, I hadn't decided what style I wanted to go with at that point. I was only really just at the point of going, might be a good idea for me to get my hair cut to stop this pain in my head. <laughs> I hadn't really decided on anything else at that point. So I'm kind of glad that I waited, but I also kind of wish that I'd not cut my fringe so that I could actually get my hair cut. Um, so the haircut's probably going to be in November, maybe maybe we'll see um and I'm probably going to dye it blue because I've got uh no drills allowed coming out in December and Orion is blue Orion's color is blue so <laughs> I did purple for Zell I'm going to do blue for Orion um I know it's going to be a little bit early which is one of the other reasons why I'm like maybe I'll hold off on getting the hair cut to like mid-November but at the same time I'm like I really want to get my hair cut now that I've made the decision about it um so yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to cut this one here. I apologise that it's been a little bit of an odd one, um, but I hope it kind of gives you guys sort of an idea of where my head is at at the moment. Um, as I said, I may talk more about some of the stuff that's going on with me at some point, um, I also might not, it depends on how I figure things out. Um, as I said, the one thing that I'm certain of at this point is that I need to start choosing my own clothes. <laughs> um, just so that I can work out what my style is and what I actually want to be wearing. Um, because when you are in your early 30s and you have no idea what sense of style you have, something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> okay, um, okay, um, well, uh, that's all I can really say, so I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!